Typically for me, my time is split into four different areas. Painting a video for YouTube, painting a lesson for my online painting school, doing admin work and doing a commission. Well, today I'm going to be working on a commission and of course this YouTube video. As you can see with the reference photograph and the block in, there is a difference in the reference photograph. The tree comes out here. Now, I don't block that in because there's a lot of gaps in that tree and I want that sky to be behind. Now, we can add sky in the tree. We can add tree over the sky. But that's the way we block in. And what I'm going to show you now is how I then fill this area out here, bringing that tree over the sky. So before I start working on this area of tree here, I'm just going to darken some of the block in. Um, this is blocked in in a middle tone. Well, actually, it's a little bit lighter than it should have been. It should have been darker. But I'm now going to add those darks. Once I've done that, I've added the darks, we can then start working on the tree as it comes over the sky. So I'm going to leave this area here for now because that's a separate tree. But this one... This is the bit that we're going to be working on. So now we need to start adding some of the tree over the top of the sky. Now I'm going to use the Series 7 size 8 for this available from my store because even though the leaves are going to be small, we need to just get the shape of it in place. Just get the, the thicker areas in place first of all. So I'm only going to use the corner of the brush just to start bringing this out. But mainly I'm looking for very much just a green colour, not, not dissimilar to this. So making sure I leave the gaps in there as well. In fact, let's to begin with just find the outside edges. So if I look at the reference photograph, we have leaves coming out here and I'm just using little dots of paint just to just to get an idea where the outside of that tree is likely to be. You may even come over a little bit more, probably come out further to there. Now that's quite a thick area or dense I should say. and it's only the more dense areas that we're going to be painting. Then we can move over once we finish with this brush to a smaller brush so we can get the less dense areas in place. So I'm going to get the rest of this filled in with this brush and then we'll come back once that's done. Okay, so once we've got the majority of that body in place, now what we're going to do is add the branches. And for that, I'm going to use a rigger brush. This is the Series 1, size 0, but we can use the larger one. Uh, it also comes in different sizes, so this is the smallest. Okay, so now we have the branches and we have the, the main sort of density of that tree in place. What we're now going to do is add the smaller details, mainly around the outside, but also in a few of these gaps here. And for that, I'm using the rigger brush. And we're just kind of doing a little, a little spot, just small dots.
So now I'm going to start adding the details in this tree here, looking at the ones that are a little bit further back to begin with, so slightly darker, we can then put any highlights on afterwards. We're going to be using once again the rigger brush for this and we're just going to use, we're just going to flatten the brush and then use the corner just to get an upside down V, a triangle that we're looking for. So now I'm going to add the lighter tones using the corner of the fan brush. Um, this brush is also available from my store, so check that out in the link below. But this is really good for getting um, slightly less neat, more of a random pattern. But it works well, especially when you're doing these lighter little canopies. Okay, so that's just about it. Um, very simple to do. Try that out with your own work. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so you don't miss any content like this. Um, have a happy Christmas if I don't see you all before. Uh, I think that's probably everything I need to say. Anyway, there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. See you all soon.